In this video, we are going to show how to edit time cards, add holiday time, and approve employee time card requests. All of the admin pages we will be covering are listed under time card. By default, the admin username is the only one that can make edits to time cards. Supervisor access to edit other employee time cards would need to be granted in the Assigned Departments and Supervisors page under Features, and employee access to edit their own time cards would have to be granted in the Access page under Setup. Let's start out on the Edit page under Time Card. The Edit page shows one employee at a time, and you can view different pay periods or a manual date range. The page is separated into three or four sections. The top section is where you choose what you're looking at. The second section is the employee's time card. The third section is to add new time card entries to the time card. And if you're using the other compensations feature, the last section would be for compensation entry, such as mileage or commission. To edit what is already on a time card, just click into the time and adjust as needed. You can either enter time in a 24-hour clock format, or you will need to specify AM PM. In the Entry Style column, In Out can be changed to Hours if you just want to enter a set amount of hours. This is especially helpful for PTO entries. Lunch deductions are also an option under Entry Style. These will actually remove time from the daily total. You can find more information about using lunch deductions in the Lunch and Breaks video. If you use the Projects or Worksites features, you will have the option to choose how the time is designated. PTO will also be in this list and will show the employee's current balance. A column for entry note may be available if activated in the General Setup Options page under Setup. If you need to remove an entire line from the time card, just click Remove and Save Changes. If you notice some of the boxes in the week column are a different color, this indicates a new work week within your pay period. To add time, you will need to choose a date first. The drop-down list will populate all of the days within the pay period you are viewing. But let's say you are wanting to enter PTO usage in the future. You can utilize the date range filter instead of the pay period filter, and this will allow you to add time to any day in the future. When entering PTO usage, you will probably want to change the entry style to hours, then enter the amount of hours the employee is using. Make sure to choose the PTO category. If you are entering more hours than the employee has available, the system will alert you and ask if you want to proceed. Using more hours than are available will put the employee into a negative balance until more accruals post to bring it back up. Adding compensations is similar. Choose the date, then enter the data you're tracking for that compensation category. Let's talk about what it means when all or part of the time card is grayed out. If only part of the time card is grayed out, it is because the employee has requested a change based on the setting you activated in the access page under setup. In this situation, you will have an Approve column that will allow you to apply the change, or otherwise you can disapprove to remove it. You can also approve or disapprove in the Pending Requests page under Time Card. If the whole time card is grayed out and you are unable to add or edit, this means the time card has been approved. If an employee or supervisor approved, you can remove it here. If the admin username approved it, it will take you back to the page in which that was done so that you can remove the approval. You can also access that page, titled Admin Approval, under Time Card. Also under Time Card, you can find Edit by Date. This is almost just like the Edit page, but instead of a whole pay period and one employee, it displays one day and all the employees. It may be important to note, this page will not display PTO balances for each employee, and will not warn you if the hours entered will put the employee into a negative PTO balance. 
The next page is Holiday Creator, which is similar to Edit by Date, but is widely popular for entering paid holiday hours. Here, you can enter the hours for the day, choose the category of Work or PTO, then check everyone you want to apply the time to. You can tell the system to skip adding hours to anyone who already has time on that day, or to add the entry regardless of existing hours on that day. You can also just reference who has time listed on that day.